Good afternoon. Um, my name is Petro. I'm 12. Um, I've lived in four different cities and I love traveling. Now, the reason I'm here is actually pretty random. I've always had a very big passion for doing presentations and sharing my ideas. So in fourth grade, I decided to make a presentation to my fourth grade classmates about climate crisis. And when I presented the presentation to my classmates, I realized how important it is to find the problem, in this case climate crisis, and find a solution to it. So here I am with my new idea, One Minute, One Change. My objective is to present this idea with enthusiasm. I really care about how I share it to you. Um, positivity, um, without criticizing the past and starting new. And simplicity, it's really about how everyday life can be implemented into new climate crisis um, battle. So when I was younger, my brother would always, always ask me how long, and I would tell him five minutes, and then he would ask me long or short minutes. So the definition of one minute is a unit of time equal to 60 seconds, one sixtieth of an hour, a brief period of time. But is it really brief? Because as I mentioned, my brother would ask me long or short. And I realized this reflects onto me too, as sometimes when I get interrogated by my teacher or when I'm waiting for an appointment, time goes by really slow. While when I'm chatting, watching a movie, or playing video games with my friends, one minute feels like one second. So I came to the conclusion that it's really relative to what we do. Whether we spend that minute good or bad, fun or sad, frightened or relaxed. So let's ask ourselves the question, what damage do we do to a planet in just one minute, every minute? Well, after some research, I found out that 60 football pitches of forests are cut every minute, which means that one football pitch is cut every second. There are um, 60 minutes in one hour, 24 hours in one day, in one week, in a month, in a year, etc. So let's just realize how big of a number that actually is. Also, one million plastic bottles are bought around the world, of which only a small percentage is correctly disposed. Now let me ask you, how many times have you bought a plastic bottle without thinking about its effects, often. And the, well, the plastic bottle will end up into the environment, into our animals, into the food chain, and eventually backfire at us as poison. 6.2 million kilograms of carbon dioxide are emitted into the atmosphere every minute as a byproduct of burning fossil fuels. And it's not anyone else, it's not the big brands, it's not the governments, it's us. We make the decisions. So, we can talk about the damage we do to our planet in just one minute for hours. And the solution signs up with us, which there are for hours too. But we, you, I, have the option to make a difference. So how can we make, the dif how can we make a difference in just one minute? Well, remembering how much of a big effect our diet has on our carbon footprint. You might be shopping and you see a very tasty hamburger. Remembering that that hamburger causes from 3.1 to 6.1 kilograms of carbon dioxide may cause you to avoiding the hamburger because that is a small number, but not including the food, water, and space the animal needed to survive. Now, I'm not suggesting to become vegetarian, but remembering how much of a large impact certain foods have on our carbon footprint might lead us to make more green food choices. Diet does not only mean how the, food arrive, how the food is on our plate, but also how the food arrives to a plate. Today, most foods are packaged in plastic, and avoiding the plastic packaged foods can also reduce plastic waste. Switching the lights off, you might be having dinner with your family, and you remember the lights are still on in your room. Don't postpone that, go turn off those lights, because most of our lights are, most of our energy is made by powering by burning fossil fuels, which causes um, carbon emissions. Now, you might say switching the lights off once won't make a big difference, but in a week, in a month, in a year, in a decade, it makes a very big difference. And finally, my last suggestion is to choose the right way to move around. Taking the bus might be even time-saving, or maybe um, filling the car with friends. Instead of being by yourself, you can be five people. Instead of taking five cars, it's only one. And also walking. Walking is exercise and it's green. I mean, I couldn't think of a better one minute. Now, climate crisis is a very complex problem. And the solution to it is also complex. 
But when we have the choice to make these small decisions in our everyday life to make a difference, we need to realize how much of a big impact that minute has, and it's all about how we spend that minute. So let's make every next minute better, a better one, starting now, to make a better world. Thank you.